Hey everybody, it's Jameson. It's a little warm in the garage, so I've got the fan running. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, I was just gonna do a fast little project for myself here to just play today, and I thought I would film it uh, for you guys. So I'll probably put most of this on uh, fast play as I build this. But what I wanted to do, I live in Texas and uh, blue bonnets are in season and I felt inspired. And so this is a picture of the blue bonnets. Uh, which is really just a wildflower, but I believe it's a state flower of Texas and uh, everybody's blue bonnet crazy and so I wanted to make a little blue bonnet piece. I had this piece of scrap glass that I cut because I thought it looked like a nice little field and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue down some pieces. I've got some stringer from uh, Tabitha Burrell, I've got some murini, some leaves and flowers and all kinds of stuff from Lori uh, Moreno at Wilderness Glass. Uh, and then I was gonna use some different blues. So if you look at the picture of the, um, of the blue bonnets, they are nice and deep blue. They do kind of get lighter. So I have the deep cobalt, and then I was gonna do a little bit of the um, just regular cobalt. And uh, then I was gonna cap them off with a little bit of white. And I thought this translucent white opal would look kind of neat. Um, and then I would just whatever, I'm going to put a little spring green frit down here in the grassy areas. I got some other uh, scrap glass that I'd cut up. I might use that too. Uh, I've also got some whoop, opaque white, so we'll see if maybe I use that on the flowers or elsewhere. So I don't know, I'm just playing and thought you'd like to watch. Okay, there you go. I um, decided to throw a little extra color in, so I did a, just a little bit of fuchsia, uh, frit, uh, medium size. I had a little bit of yellow, fine, um, threw that in there too, just having a little fun through some of the uh, uh, translucent white through here a little bit as well. Um, I'm gonna take this to the kiln. I would like to have some a little bit of texture to this, so I'm probably gonna take it up to about 1425 and hold it for 10 minutes or so and then we'll see what we get when we come back. But I kind of like the look at this, it's a little fun. So this piece worked out well. It's just, uh, it got a little uneven on the edges here a little bit. So I'm taking it to my flat lap and I'm just, uh, this is a modified flat lap. Uh, and then I'm, I'm cleaning up the edges just a little bit. So now that I've cleaned up the edges, the translucent white that I used is not very white. And if you look at a blue bonnet, you got that white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a few pieces of frit on here and refire this. I might add just a little bit more color to a little bit more purple to it or something. So I'll add a couple of pieces of frit and, and take this back up and uh, I'll, this, that'll fire polish the edges for me and give me a little bit more color on it as well. So as I said, I did add the white. I also added some Neo Lavender, which you can see in there. Uh, I'm generally very pleased with this piece. I did have to fire it a second time. Oh, there was also some devitrification, so I added some clear powder to take care of that, which uh, was perfect. But because I fired it again, I lost a little bit of texture. Hopefully next time I get it in one shot. I framed it in this 5x5 five five frame that I bought at a craft store, and uh, I love it. It sold right away, and that's the goal, right? Hope you like this. Please follow the channel for more. Bye-bye, everybody.